smoke a tri-tip like a brisket. That's what they told me. I tried it, it was fine. But now I'm hearing I need to smoke a pork belly like a brisket. And one of my friends, this dude Carlo, smoking vine, go find him on all platforms, dude's incredible. I saw him recently smoke a pork belly like a brisket and he told me you absolutely have to. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be smoking a pork belly like a brisket and we're gonna throw some pineapple in there. We're gonna make this incredible sandwich that you see right in front of me. I've been waiting all day to eat this. <laughs> it's time to cook. Let's get started. This thing is huge. We're gonna start with the pork belly. I got a 12 pound pork belly here and I'm not feeding too many people, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into portions. And I think right here, about right here is enough. So we'll just go ahead and just give this a pat dry. So this pork belly, it already has the skin removed. We're gonna season this up, smoke it like a brisket. Go to Jung as the binder. We're gonna use this Alpastor seasoning today. Get it coated on all sides heavily. Just press that seasoning in there. So the pork belly is seasoned and I gotta prep a pineapple, but let's pour ourselves a drink. My buddy Jason brought over this, this bottle of lip service. So far I kinda like it. <laughs> Did you know if you rip the top off and you put it in some fucking water, you can grow a couple other pineapples? All right, so now I want to season up the pineapple slices. The rings are going to make it easier for what I want to do with it at the end. You'll see. And this is what we're using to season the pineapple. Now the pork belly and the pineapple are gonna go in the smoker at 225 degrees. We're smoking the pork belly kind of like a brisket. We're looking for that bark to set around 165 degrees internal, maybe 170, and then we're gonna wrap it. But I might just let it go. I might not even wrap it. We're gonna let the pineapple go the entire time and we're gonna use that in some sandwiches that we're gonna be making. Let's go get these on the smoker. This is gonna go on the smoker, fat side down. I mean, just look at that bark. It looks sexy. This has been on the smoker for about five to six hours. I bumped up the temperature to 250 degrees. I never wrapped it. I just left it unwrapped because the bark was looking really nice. I'm gonna let this rest for about 30 minutes. So let's make this avocado cream sauce for our sandwich. We're gonna start with a couple avocados. This avocado went to Harvard. About a half cup of cilantro, the juice of two limes. Just a little bit of sour cream. Teaspoon of salt. And now for a little quality assurance. Mm. Hey, this is really good. Some mayo to toast the buns. Now it's time to cut into this pork belly. You can just hear that bark. Mm. It just melts in your mouth. A little avocado spread, pork belly. There we go. And finally, we're gonna finish it off with this Mike's Hot Honey. Just a drizzle. I'm just ready to eat. We got this brioche bun, we got the avocado sauce, we got the pork belly that we smoked like a brisket. It came out juicy and tender. You know, it's probably gonna be one of my favorite ways to cook a brisket. A brisket, a pork belly from now on. You see, I'm getting confused already. But we got the pork belly. We got some pineapple that we smoked for about four hours now. 
And then we finished off with some Mike's Hot Honey. I swear to God, anything you put Mike's Hot Honey on, it absolutely improves it. I'm ready to go ahead and give this a taste. It's just calling me. And after six and a half hours, we finally get to taste. Here we go. That right there is worth waiting all day for. That pork belly is just so tender. With the sweetness from the pineapple, I mean pork and pineapple, they're just meant to go together. It's like lamb and tuna fish. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna take up any more of your time. If you like this content, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Share it with a friend. Hit that notification bell. But most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Cheers.